Welcome. All right, so in this case, what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, determine all the possible positive and negative real zeros. So to do this, um, to find all the possible positive real zeros, what I'm going to do is take our function and just drop down the signs of each term. Therefore, that's a positive 18x to the fifth. So I'll just have it positive, positive, negative, positive, positive, positive. So therefore, you can see now what we're going to do is look in the change of the signs from positive to negative, where we can see that we have two change of signs, where I go from positive to negative and then negative to positive. So when determining what, how is that going to help us out, um, Descartes' rule of signs says that the number of change in signs between our terms is going to tell us how many possible uh, real zeros we have for the positive minus an even number. So therefore, you can see I have two change in signs. So I have 2, and then minus an even number. Well, think of your even numbers, 2, 4, 6. Well, I can't subtract anything greater than 2. So it's either 2 or, I'll write or, 0, positive, real, zeros. Okay. So that means on my, you know, in this function, if I'm going to find the zeros, I could have two pos uh, positive real zeros, or I could have zero positive real zeros. And if it's not a positive real zero, then it has to be a negative. So the next thing we'd want to do is determine the negative real zeros. So to do that, what I need to do is evaluate for f of negative x. So now my input variable is going to be a negative x rather than a positive x. So it's going to be negative x to the fifth plus 2 thirds times negative x. Uh, to the fourth plus a minus a negative x cubed plus 2 times a negative x squared plus 2 times a negative x plus 3. Okay. So now what we need to do is evaluate for our negative x. And just remember, whenever we have a negative value raised to an odd power, that, power, that uh, exponent is still going to remain negative. And if we have a, a, um, a negative number raised to an even power, it's now going to become an even exponent. So this now turns into a negative, because I'm multiplying the negative x to an odd power. So now this whole term will be negative. So now that's 18, negative 18, x to the fifth. Since that's to the even, that's just going to remain positive. This now turns into a negative, but a negative times a negative is now going to turn to a positive. This remains positive. That's going to remain negative. So now, again, we drop down the signs. So I'll have, well, let's drop them down with a different color, right? So now I have negative, positive, 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 negative, positive. So now, when looking at our change in signs, what we can do is we can see, well, we have one change of signs, two, three. So again, going by our rule, my microphone. Sorry about that. So by going by our rule of the change in signs, you can see now I have three possible, uh, three real zeros, or minus an even number. Well, again, I can subtract two, but I cannot subtract four, because you can't have negative number of zeros. So I could have three, or by subtracting two, I have one. So three or one negative real zeros. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you use Descartes' rule of signs to determine all your um, positive and negative real zeros. Thanks.